Well, hello there, dear listeners. It's been a while, hasn't it? I don't know what's episode happened. Episode two. Episode two. But really, episode four. That's a little tidbit. That, <laughs> Only that... nine months later. <laughs> yeah. Behind the scenes, yeah. Not pointing any fingers. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, we we did a couple of episodes, and yeah. uh, they didn't. They didn't... The hidden tapes, we'll call them. I mean, I blame society. <laughs> I yeah, you. me too. Yeah. But how are your boys? I blame, How's it going? I blame Crown Jewel. Sorry, what? How are things? Grand. I've been Grand. watching so much wrestling. There's, there's, I haven't. There's been a lot of news since the last time we've done uh, <laughs> a, a, a podcast. <laughs> Strange enough, yeah, since last WrestleMania, some things have happened. Yes, indeed. <laughs> the, uh, the main star of of uh, the WWE has uh, cancer. So that is still oh, just the fact that That's... it took like it took cancer to get people to cheer him. <laughs> like poor fucker, Jesus, man. shame. Did you see? Have you, you? I take it. I mean, you've probably already watched it when it came out. But the the last time when he comes out to announce he's got cancer, well, leukemia or whatever he's got, and uh, when that they're booing cancer. him, he's yeah, I yeah. know. When they're booing him, he's smiling. And someone put in the comments, it's like, this is, he's smiling because he knows it's the fucking last time he's going to hear them for a while. It's like, oh, God, oh, I feel so <laughs> terrible now. Like, imagine imagine if, if he comes out, gets his big return, and just people just boo the shit out of him. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, it's well, weird. He's because he's number 30 at the Rumble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, oh, hello, again, it's us. I am your host, well, one of your hosts, Jason Ross. And I'm joined by. This is me. Yep, there we go. Jamie. <laughs> and me, Bardo. <laughs> so on... introductions. Jesus Christ. On today's episode, I'm doing the photo shit again. I'm V1. <laughs> uh, we are doing a prediction podcast for the Royal Rumble, which is in what well, week today, isn't it? Week. Was in. Oh Jesus, yeah. And he's excited for it, like legitimately. I'm always excited for the, for the Rumble, Rumble matches themselves. Yeah, always excited like, for the Rumble. The Rumble's always good. Well, are you more excited for the good. men's or the women's? Well, since they're yeah. already announcing the women's mm. uh, participants, I would say the men's. Men's, just because yeah. of the surprises and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's best yeah. part part of the Rumble. Yeah. Mind when the Hurricane came back? What a what a time to be alive! For all of what? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, he got a huge pop and a huge belly. Wow! Oh, good old yeah. Gregory Helms. So before um, we start our predictions, do you want to talk about um, AEW? No, sure. no. Right. <laughs> I want to talk about that they have Billy Gunn, and then we can drop it. Because <laughs> Jamie, I hear. Damn it! I hear they have Billy Gunn. What are your thoughts on that? Holy fuck! It's Billy. G- I love Billy Gunn. <laughs> no, I. I, it seems weird because I always thought he was. I don't know. Shit. I don't know what to think of it. No, shut up. Fuck you. Oof. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it because it might be really good. Me and Murder were talking about it the other night. It might be really good. Sorry, we cut you out of that, Jason. By the way, we just right didn't enough. invite you. Yeah. Uh-huh. We wanted to have an actual conversation. Ooh. But, um, <laughs> we were talking about it and saying like, yeah, it could be quite good and it might make WWE sweat a little bit. But the last time, like, someone put up like an infograph I saw. And it was like the last time they wanted wrestlers to write their own stories, and it was funded by a multi-billionaire and all stuff. It was WCW, yeah, and then I've it went that. down the fucking shitter, you know. Yeah. So. Um, Watch AEW he... sign Kwiwi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not against it in any way. You know, they, the the guys, you know, yeah. Cody Rhodes and Leon Bucks can do whatever they like, and I hope they have some serious competition because that's the that's when wrestling was at its best, was when there was serious competition. Oh yeah. WWE. Um, but I'm not on this whole. I'm not wanking every single guy on AEW off. No. Like I see a Could lot of that. people doing. Um, yeah. I mean, look, time will tell of how good it is. Yeah. But I hope it's good because at the end of the day, it's just more good wrestling to watch. Well, that's it exactly. Yeah. And the fact they've got Jericho for three years could be, you know, that'll help them. But I tell you, this AEW thing has put me right off Jericho. I don't. Yeah. I was talking again, speaking with Jamie about it the other night. But Jason, have you seen the interview that got put up recently with Jericho? No. Um, in the car, right, he sat it? there. Yeah, in the car, and he sat there, and the guy is just—he's talking to him, and then he poses the question. And he goes, "Okay, so the term greatest of all time is being thrown around a lot right now. You know, the the topics 
it's being debated back and forth a lot and your name keeps popping up and he starts off by taking it with a bit of grace and he's like you know what that's for other people to say um i'm i'm really not gonna sit here and toot my own horn leaves it for about five seconds and then goes hmm. but maybe there's a case for it right <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and then yeah. he sits there and he goes like, because you know, like I went to Japan and I like revolutionized how things are viewed over there. And then there was the cruise of Jericho, and then I brought like relevance to AEW, and it's like, wow. But do you think like, he's properly? Do you think he's Sorry, just a character think... though? No, I th- he's always been a bit full of himself, but now he's like properly bought into it. Yeah, it's yeah, he's he's believing his own hype now. I think yeah. I like Jericho, but it's like you can only be called you can only be called like the goat. The... The, you know the greatest of all time for so long before you start thinking maybe i am it's like well you see he... because that's just the problem with it is is that you know he just might well be yeah yeah you can't that's, call that's, yourself like, that he shouldn't think it no <laughs> but other than that yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to AEW. well that it comes down to then like well. do you want do you want like do you want your best to be a big cocky motherfucker or do you want to be humble you know, like, The Rock wasn't humble. I mean, he, The Rock was, I'm the people's champion. I'm the best of all time. But that was in character, you know? Yeah. If you were to draw a line. Yeah. Whereas but... Jericho, a lot of it seems to be, you know, mixed. So, I don't know. It, wait and see. As you said, Jason, time will time will kind of tell if it does its job or if it fucking flounders. And, and I mean, without any disrespect to the rest of the guys of AEW, but Jericho will be the... You know the, the main draw, and yeah, probably. I mean, how old the is he now? Biggest. 40, the second biggest. Yeah, the second biggest. Yeah, the second biggest. I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah. He's he's like behind what, the producer. One. <laughs> yeah, he's like what forty seven, someone like that. Some, yeah, and he's signed a three year deal, so by the end of it, he'll be fifty. And yeah. you want your but... main guy to be, you know, especially when when you are like someone like Chris Jericho who does rely <laughs> on, you know, yeah. being you know endurance and, and all that. It'd be yeah. different if his if the main draw was like Goldberg. But I was it, I was just gonna say that you're saying like oh it's weird do you, do you want your main guy to be fifty? Remember like this time last year when Goldberg <laughs> was the Universal Champion? Yeah, but I think that's that's different because <clears throat> he didn't have Goldberg on a long contract and he was right. he was never that proficient in the ring. No, yeah, that was a that was the shock factor, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But no, they might just be if if Jericho is just being brought in just so they, like you know they've got a big name to start off with and then they naturally build their own guys. Like, but they I'm don't have they it. don't have they don't have any writing staff or anything. So how can they get these no. guys over? That's the you know yeah they'll yeah. figure something out. There's going to be a lot of people who will say it's the best thing ever, regardless of how it is. And there'll be people on yeah. the opposite saying that oh it's so shit because yeah of you know fanboyism. Yeah, just I, I don't because I may have missed it. it. Is Omega signed with them yet, or is he still oh, he up will. in the air? He has. It's still no. up in the air. Yeah, it's still up in the air, but he will. Yeah, surely. But actually, no, because the rumors are well, he turned down an offer from WWE, mm-hmm. but then apparently, like two days ago or something, uh, Triple H went to him with another one that was just absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah. I mean, well, look, there were some. Yeah, sorry, I need to listen. Kenny Omega's done any, everything that he can uh, just now, so he's got a thing about yeah. his, his family, and he can like. There's still a lot of really good wrestlers in WWE. I don't get this whole thing of like, oh, the WWE has no one. They have really, really oh, good yeah. wrestlers. They have... No, the WWE, the WWE has too many good people. Yeah, yeah, because it. That's the problem with it is that the roster is too stacked and. Everybody get, can't yeah. get a chance to shine. Their time to shine, yeah. But Kenny Omega, There's no way. Kenny Omega would be a big deal in WWE. Yeah, no but there again, I still, I still think that if they brought Kenny Omega in, they'd put him in NXT. No, they do. With I still AJ. think so. I don't think he's got the name value that AJ has. He certainly like amongst... in the uh, in yeah. the hardcore fans. Yeah, he definitely does. But he's... as far as like more casual fans, I don't know. No, I think if they if they're giving him a big offer, he'll be champion within the year. I mean, well, I'd someone hope so. yeah, someone said the thing like, say say it was just a big like um, say it was just all smoke and mirrors, and they've actually signed him and he comes in. Would you be the one that they were asking was, would you be happy or sad if he comes out twenty nine in the rumble and wins and his his debut is winning the rumble? Like, would would you be happy with that? Like, murder? Would you be happy? I mean, I'd, I'd 
Yeah, sure. It's something different. Yeah. Do you think the fans would be happy? Some would. Well, like, yeah. I think the majority of people would be pretty ecstatic about it. Yeah, just because okay. it would... You know, like, if, if Styles had won the 2016 Rumble, that would have been, like, huge. Oh, I yeah. <clears throat> but... He went on to fight Jericho that year, wasn't it? That was that mania. Yeah. 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 Sorry, right, yeah. Well, yeah. we'll see what AEW brings to the table when it gets up and going. Right, sure. on to the Royal Rumble event. Um, I actually had to look up, up, look up the matches because I'm not terribly sure on a lot I've, of them. I've, yeah. I've got them in front of me. Should I start us off or do you want to go for it? Um, you can nah, start off, man. There you go. Jamie Fire. All right. Number one, so we'll just say, so just say who you want to win and if you think they will or whatever, right? Sound good? Yes, okay. boss. We'll do. Cool stuff. <laughs> I know. Look, I'm the co-host. It's in my Twitter bio. Yeah. It is. <laughs> right. Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the US Championship. Jason, who'd yeah, you got and why? Uh, Rusev. Rusev? Because he's yeah. just won the title. Nakamura hasn't really done much. And uh, yeah. Rusev is still, you know, very popular, so... Yeah, keep it on Rusev. Okay, Murdo? Yeah, I'm um, just pretty much exactly the same. I can't, I don't know where they're going to put Nakamura after this, in all honesty, but yeah, I, I'm hoping it's Rusev, which it's, is weird. I, I would never have thought, like, this time last year that I'd be hoping against Shinsuke Nakamura, <laughs> but... I'm the same. Yeah. Well, you were saying it, Murdo, like, it's, it's, it's weird to think how kind of, like... Nyaf, he's been over... Like, he, you know, in, in NXT it was amazing, and he's got, like, the great entrances and all this stuff. But again, it's like main roster has been a bit of a wet fart yeah. so far, hasn't it? Well, how well, many, see, how many times is... do we say that about people from NXT? Yeah. yeah. Never yeah, Bobby Root. But at the same time, when he initially got signed, there was a lot of rumours at the time that New Japan were like sweating buckets about losing the Bullet Club and Styles. But they were okay with losing Nakamura. <laughs> you can see why. Uh, yeah. No, but, I mean, to be fair, he's still, he's still a really, he's really good wrestler. And but... he's just really charismatic, but once that kind of novelty wears off, like, I haven't really enjoyed many of his matches since his debut. Yeah. yeah. His feud with Samoa Joe in NXT was great, but I put that mostly down to Samoa Joe being just an intense, angry bastard. Yeah. But What a hero. But no, Rusev. Rusev, yeah, I think, I think exactly the same. I think he's just become champion. I think people like Rusev, and I like... I think Rusev is a really good US champion. Like you see, you know, some yeah. people really suit it, like having that belt. Or some people are, you look at them, they're like, yeah, he's the Intercontinental Champion. You know, like the Miz, he's a brilliant IC champion. I look at Rusev and I think, yeah, US champion. Like that's, so yeah, I'm, is it, this is what fourth time as champion? Yeah, oh God, is so. it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree. Is that is that pre-show? Is it? Probably. Yeah, it doesn't. Definitely. It doesn't say online. It doesn't oh, say. Right, it just okay, says the, the five matches. But it was. I was going to work from the bottom up. So. Yeah, so we all say cool. Rusev. Yeah. 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 All right. Number two, you've got the Bar versus the Miz and Shane McMahon for the SmackDown oh, Tag Team. Oh fuck! They've got a title <laughs> match. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So Murdo, uh, why do you have? Oh, so Murdo, the Bar, and why do you have them? Well, no, no, I've got Miz and Shane McMahon. Fuck off. No, genuinely, they've got Shane McMahon. He's the greatest wrestler in the world. Oh, great. You're making the same jokes everyone else does. No, hey, genuinely. Wagger. He, mm. He's like the absolute... NXT, like... NXT, NXT. <laughs> CM Punk, CM <laughs> No, but, like, oh, I, I don't know. I can just see it going that way. Because otherwise, like, who are the Bard like, going to feud with? Someone they've already feuded with? Bring in and... Sanity, I don't know. Like, there it's must be a reason that. they're... <laughs> Oh yeah, shit! I, don't know, there, I forgot that. <laughs> there must be a reason they're doing this whole Shane and Miz thing. So, did you see the thing? Did you see the thing? Either is um why they think Shane won at Crown Jewel to become the greatest in the world? Was it not like a heel turn or like a jab at Punk or something? No. No, I, the the thing I saw was that you know how there was like tons of controversy around a Saudi Arabian show at the time. Yeah. They were making the thing in that there was so many like kind of wanky decisions that went on like that like uh, I remember Brock versus Braun Baron Corbin attacked Braun like totally out of the blue and cost him the belt and Brock won and then Shane McMahon so like the fucking boss all of a sudden 
he can't, you know, like his, uh, who was it? Dolph? No, it was the Miz. Was it the Miz that got hurt? Miz. I don't remember. Uh, the Miz got hurt, yeah. Yeah, and he was against Dolph. So yeah, the, the Miz gets hurt and Shane has to step in. And someone said the whole reason they did all these kind of like, like finishes that made you thought like, what the fuck is going on? Is because suddenly you're not thinking about, oh yeah, like women can't drive in this country. But I'm just no, annoyed about the wrestling. No, that happened at Super Showdown though. No, it didn't. Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck me. I can't remember a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Cut, cut that. I'm, I'm talking shit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am also going with Hell. Miz and McMahon. Why yeah. is everyone against me? No, well, no the bar it's a, it the should bar. be the bar. There's absolutely no oh, yeah. way it shouldn't be the bar, but they're doing this storyline. It seems the only way to really progress it without... You know, yeah. just doing the same shit again and again is to make them champions. And they love to do the whole trope of the tag team champions are wrestling each other at WrestleMania. They've done that so many times. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. True. I don't want... But are they really going to waste the Miz, who's probably bigger than he's... Well, maybe he's not IC champion big as he's ever been, but he's, you know, one of the biggest times in his career, and they're going to... What are you doing for WrestleMania 35? One of the biggest ones ever. And so it's like, oh, I'll be Who is the IC champ, champ right now? Lashley. Lashley. Oh fuck, it's Lashley, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jesus. But, like... I don't know what the fuck I was going to say. I say right, I I'm guess. saying the bar. And the, if if Shane and that... If, if the bar lose, I'll be really salty because I love Sheamus and Cesaro. But if it means that Cesaro can have a singles push and actually get a decent belt, that will never I'd be happen. happy. That will no, never I know it won't. Ever but imagine. It'll be more likely uh, Sheamus... I know. Yeah. His back's already given out, isn't it? Yeah, it's something wrong with his spine, isn't it? Got... It's the thing that took out Edge, isn't it? It was just the exact same thing that took out Edge, yeah. He's and got... Austin, wasn't it? He's got potato poison in their head. <laughs> That's what oh, Yeah. Fucking hell. Because he's Irish. <laughs> oh, is that why? Sorry, I didn't, didn't realise. Right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, hold on. I, I was looking up Seamus facts. Did Seamus you know he's six foot four? <laughs> yeah. No, he's taller than that, hasn't he? He's 6'4". Huh. Yeah. Don't, don't question me. Alright. Right. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, I mean, so... You're a full two inches shorter than you thought you were this time last year, so... Shut up. <laughs> That's just because I've done so many leg drops, like my, my back's fused. I'm like holding, basically. <laughs> I saw that. that was racist. Like... <laughs> that, yeah. Well, only in private, and when it's funny. No, someone was saying that. I think it was only... It was Jake the Snake on a podcast... And it was like, oh yeah, I met Hogan not that long ago. It's like, and I'm taller than him now, and I was never. And it's like, yeah, because fucking spines fused together. <laughs> Great times. Right, what are we on? Next match. All right, so Asuka versus Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. That's the oh. best part of the accent. See, that's a difficult one. I thought Becky would be in the Rumble. She was my pick to win. Oh. Fuck. Oh, spanner in the works. Well, she still might be in it, though. Okay, so if she loses to Asuka and then wins it. Yeah, like, which would be a bit... Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Hmm. I will go... for... Becky Lynch, I think. Um, the main reason being, I think they really, really want to do Lynch versus... Um, Rosie. Uh, versus Charlotte. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Oh, be right back, boys. Okay. Just bear with me. Talk right. on yourselves. Yeah. So, Jamie, who are you, who are you got? Well, I was going to wait until he's recording to say my piece. I think he'll be recording anyway. Is it? Oh, I don't... Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he sat I... there physically holding a record button this is like for the oh. next hour. Isn't that how technology works? <laughs> oh, God. I'm so behind. I... <clears throat> I think Asuka, because I don't know what they're going to do with her, but I really want, if I, I'd be really, I really want to see Charlotte main event mania, right? Yeah. And I want to see Charlotte versus Lynch versus Rosie. That's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if, oh. I think Charlotte, because she's a baddie now, I think she's going to get involved with either that or the Raw Women's Championship. I don't know which one, but. I think Charlotte may get involved and then win or cost someone something. So, I think she's I think she's going to be important. <laughs> you would. 
I love her so much. <laughs> Do you think she listens to this? <laughs> you can fucking hope not. Oh, God. I haven't said anything that bad. No? Oh, well. Right, no, who'd but, you... Like, the, the very last episode where you're like, I'm willing to let women get beaten for you, Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, but I, no, I'm hoping that one's just gone, because then I, I also said she was she had no chance in hell against Asuka at Mania, and then I yeah. physically cried when she won. <laughs> Good times. But, um, I'm going to say Asuka, just because... I, I don't know. I, I want Asuka to have a good long run with the title. Like, yeah. And, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that match is happening, because that really kicks my whole plans, plans of the yeah. balls. Alright, lads, what's oh. a good word? Asuka and... I can't remember what Jamie said. Asuka? Something racist, probably. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> no. I just mean lots of potato jokes. Yeah, Jason, so Asuka versus Becky Lynch. I'll say Becky. Yeah, they're going for the man. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they want to do um, Becky versus Charlotte at WrestleMania for the yeah. title. Just want to say, Jamie didn't want to like give his prediction until you got back because he wasn't <laughs> sure it would record without you being here. No, I thought when Jason said "be right back," I assumed he meant pause what you're talking about so, because fucking someone's left the room. No, no, you just sorry for trying to be. I'm trying to be professional. Very curtain, I'm the co host. Yeah. So I can what, tell you... myself. What, what, about, what about you guys? What do you guys think? Fuck me, I guess. We've already <laughs> done it. We, we both it. did ask her. Right. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because uh, I want to see Becky versus Charlotte versus Rosie at Mania. Oh, pretty much the same. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. For I the main event, though. Yeah. I think, I think, I think that Charlotte is. You know my feelings on Charlotte. One, I love her, and I will <laughs> Two, marry her, her one day. Two, I'm at, yeah. No, I think that Charlotte is is the the kind of woman that should main event Mania. I think Ronda Rousey is brilliant, and I think that she's such a huge star that she will also do it. And I think that as great as Becky Lynch is, like, see when you watch her matches, or at least like highlights, there's still a fair few times there's slip ups. But that's, you know, that's true for Charlotte as well, though. Yeah. Yeah, but I love her. So right, right <laughs> now, there is no woman more popular than Becky Lynch. That's I know, true. but I would. It's that thing in that, you know, the last kind of big. You, you think of all the big triple threat mania things. You know, Daniel Bryan, Orton, and Batista. You know, Batista hadn't wrestled in a while, but he won the Rumble, so it couldn't just be him versus Orton. You know, they need they need someone to kind of help him out a little bit. Well, that's not nice why one. Daniel Bryan got put into no, that match. But... No, it's because of Connor, wasn't it? No, it's because the fans were really angry. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. But... No, I'm hoping Asuka. I'm, I'm annoyed that match is happening, though. Yeah. Fair dues. Right, so Asuka, Asuka, Becky, yeah? Yeah. Rock and roll. Right, so moving on to the, the main event of the night for Murdo. So we've got Kalisto versus Akira Torizawa. Toza- oh, Tozawa. Oh, Tozawa. Tozawa. <laughs> Akira Taz. Oh, fuck me. Mania. Hideo Atami. Other and Buddy Murphy. Wait, yeah. who's the other? No, I couldn't say Akira Toz- Toz- Tozawa. So I was okay, pretending so to gloss forward. over him. Yeah. 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 yeah, Buddy Murphy, Akira Tozawa, Hideo Atami, Kalisto. Fuck yes. Nice. Edit that bit in. Okay. Edit this bit out. Jason, you, know, you, you don't yeah. edit stuff in on a podcast. You edit stuff out. I don't, Jason, I'm just the talent, all right? <laughs> and the eye candy. Obviously so. I mean, put up that picture of me with me with my thin hair. Oh. <laughs> it's sad. It makes me sad. I know. I need to shave it so badly. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Take it down. Take it down. Stays up for the rest of the episode. Yeah, I know. It'll be great. It'll be in the pit. It'll be the corner somewhere, you know. <laughs> right. Who's gotten why? Jason. Cruiserweight Championship. Um, I am going to say uh, Itami. Yeah? yeah. Mainly because one, he's really good, um, and it'd be very difficult for them to transition from a heel champion to a heel champion that isn't in like a four way. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's a deal with Tommy Hill. Oh yeah, 
Oh, okay. A big foreign Japanese heel. Yeah. They're the worst. Like a while. I thought, like when I saw him in the match, I assumed he'd just come back from injury. No, he's been back for a while. Oh. Okay. I mean, I really don't know who to say for this one. But I like Buddy Murphy the best, so I'm just going to say him. Fair enough. Fair play. I'm, I'm going to agree with Murdo, and I'm going to say Buddy Murphy just because he's super popular just now. And, uh, and I think he's pretty cool. He's really like good him. as well. Yeah, he's, yeah. Well, he's stupid yeah. good. <laughs> and Plus, his entrance theme like... is really loud, so it's really, like, dubstep -y. And he's banging in Alexa Bliss, so... He is that. Yeah, I know. So let's all take a moment God, of silence that was, that was for... That's a bit breathy, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I, like, I was like, oh, this is gonna go perfect. Oh, lucky Bliss, eh? <laughs> Homosexuality. All right. Yeah. Um, well, but okay, we've right. done Rousey versus Banks. I was just going to say that, but interrupt me. It's okay. Do we all just want to say it at the same time? Yep. Three, yeah. two, one. Rousey. 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 Yep. Yeah. I thought yeah, we were all I going mean, to say that's... Rousey, Rousey, Rousey. So. <laughs> well, Rowdy, Rowdy, Rowdy. Rowdy, Rowdy, Rousey, <laughs> come into the ring. <laughs> Whose jacket she got on? Rosie Roddy Piper. <laughs> Rosie Roddy Piper. <laughs> right. uh, no, that's a, that's an easy one. Yeah, like there's no way it's gonna be Banks. Like the, there's been no build whatsoever, and it's just she's just been kind of shoehorned into it. So, and plus, I like all the focus as far as Banks is concerned seems to be going on these new tag team titles. Yeah, yeah, her and Bayley. like. She was on the Edge and Christian podcast recently, maybe even today, in fact. Yeah. Um, and she 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 said to Edge, she was like, oh. "Tell Beth to get to reform the team with with Natty, and we'll fight her." It's like, okay, so you're you, you're not even entertaining the idea that you might be women's champion after Sunday, like. Well, maybe it's all just a swerve. Oh, maybe we're all. But it's definitely just not. just real quick, boys. No. Do you want some Brock breaking news as of right now? Please say yes. <laughs> on. As of as of right now, as I'm looking at it, Charlotte Flair has just been announced on the to be in the Women's Royal Rumble, sure. which we all knew. But but um, I thought I'd mention it because, as I've said, I love Charlotte Flair. Actually, yeah, because if they're announcing all the the women beforehand, um, there's no real way that Lynch can lose the match and then enter herself in the Rumble because she just won't be in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's an odd choice. Very odd choice. To do that. Mm. Don't know about that. So I was actually just thinking, because if they were going to do that, like, if, because they need to, like, move people about in brands and stuff for, for that to work, they, like, I mean, it won't be Banks, but the easiest way to do that would be to have Banks win the title, have, uh, I can't remember how to pronounce her surname. What? Rousey, that's the one. Um, have her... <laughs> Rousey. <laughs> Have her win the Rumble and then her make the jump to SmackDown rather than have two people have to jump to Raw. If they were going to do a triple threat, but no, nah, it's going to be Rosie. It's going to be Rosie. It's going to be Rosie. She's Sonya Blade. She, she is, is Sonya Blade. Blade. Yeah. And you'd yeah. think that the baddest woman on the world, the mixed martial art champion and current Raw Women's Champion, would do the motion capture for it, but no. <laughs> She's too busy pretending Sandy Hook didn't happen. Oh, <laughs> cut that one! Actually, she well, might. In case she hears you, <laughs> you, you get, never know. Do you get her and Alex Jones confused? No, no. She had. She tweeted about it. Really? Yeah. Hold on. Oh god. Oh, hold on Jesus a second. Fuck. This is gonna be. Hold I. Oh god. Am I do. Do I want to look this up? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> no, she. Um. It was a huge hullabaloo. And, uh, oh, bloody wonder. That word and yeah. all. Strange though, yeah. She put up a video, uh, and she she deleted the whole thing, but the video, as far as I can see on this, was called uh, The Sandy Hook Shooting Fully Exposed, and it was like her making a video about it. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Yeah. Well, wrestling, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what other matches are happening? Well, we also have... Is there a Raw tag title match happening? Nope. No. Because no. who wants to see, you know, Chad Gable? Or... 
Are him yeah. and Rude still the champions? They sure Probably. are, my friend. They Jesus. Sure we also got um, Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the oh. WWE Championship. Murdo. Mm -hmm. Have at your um, opinions, fiend. <laughs> Probably Daniel Bryan, just because it's still fairly new, isn't it? Yes. When did he win it? A few months ago. Recently. Yeah, so probably, yeah, Daniel Bryan. Um, I'm still expecting AJ to make the jump to Raw, probably within the year, just because he's really running out of things to do on SmackDown short of a tag team run. But, yeah, mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan, just just because. Not really got much of a reason, just Daniel Bryan. Fair enough. Uh, Jamie? Uh, basically the exact same. I think Daniel Bryan, because um, I think, I think, he's he's really, I mean, everyone says he's really good just now, you know, with his, he well, he's a good heel. Um, a good heel. Yeah. So I think, I think they'll kind of keep it on him. And, What's he uh, doing? Yeah. Is he just like really playing up the fact that he's a vegan? Yeah. Like to annoy people? That, yeah. He's a vegan, right. he's better than you and all that stuff, isn't it? The whole, uh, See that just sounds quite good. Holier than thou vibe is good. Yeah. Is um, <coughs> is Styles uh, still a babyface? Because the last thing I saw was he like decked Vince. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I, I, I saw that. I saw that. I don't know what that was about. I mean, Vince is the biggest heel of all time, so I'm guessing probably. True, not. but it, it it was like just after they all came out and were like, "We're sorry." <laughs> they were like, "What? Why do they? We we'll promise why, to be better." Why? Why yeah. are they talking like a deaf person? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop. Hey, yeah, be care yeah, Jason, be careful. You might offend our deaf listeners. You know, <laughs> we want them phoning in. I don't know who they'd be phoning in. That was so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I, st I actually I thought we were on like a radio show from like two thousand. So, <laughs> if you do want to phone in, Murdo's phone number will be at the end of the show. So you know, stick around. <laughs> Um, but no, I'll I'll say I'll say Brian as well because he his newly yeah. minted heel run, and it just makes sense. Yeah. Right. Fair play. Now Good let's stuff. talk about the um, inevitable murder that we're going to see on yeah. our screens. <laughs> the Raw Women Royal Rumble. Here we go. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Yep. Fuck that one. I, I, I wasn't even listening. What do you say? The Raw Women's Royal Rumble. Um, Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. What do you guys yeah. think about? Go on, Jamie. I think my namesake, the man who I taught and trained to become the beast he is today, I think Brock Lesnar is going to win. And if if we had my way, yes. Okay. What happened? Okay. <laughs> so, um, as I was talking, I was swinging in my chair, and I turned out too fast, and I threw my controller across the room, and it pulled up my headset. You are I thought it just child. connected. Yeah. No, it was a whole thing. Um, so if you had your way, Jamie. If I had my way, thank you. Boy that I have, I have raised from birth, uh, Brock Lesnar, would come out, he would look at Finn Balor, and Finn Balor would go and maybe do it, try and do a two sweet or a big po something, and Brock Lesnar will just pick him up F five and pin him and fuck off. That would be probably the worst thing I would have ever. I would have. It would be awful, but it's not unlikely. I know, but that's the thing. Like, I, I I've said it to Jason. I've probably said it to both of you at some point. In that, I quite like Brock Lesnar, not so much as the champ. I just like that there's like this there's this ceiling. Uh, you can be the best wrestler on Raw, you can be the absolute be-all, end-all, but you still can't fucking beat Brock Lesnar. And he's so good that he doesn't have to show up to work, and he doesn't care when they're like, oh, but I've got my rematch clause, and he's like, no, I don't care, I'm Brock Lesnar. You're doing away with that. I know, yeah, yeah. But, like, there's a pile of rematches, you know? Yeah. I can so yeah. see that happening. Like, Balor's been on... Uh, a tear. Just, just saying, like, oh, yeah... I'll get. I want. I really want this universal um, rematch, and then just he's done in five seconds. Well, it's that thing yeah. in that, like, are they only pushing him just now 
so that he won't run to AEW. Maybe. Because I'll admit, because Maybe. as much as as much as I think Brock Lesnar is going to win, and he probably will, it'd be a hell of a fucking swerve if AEW were like, oh, you know, come, you know, watch us, join us, and think how interesting it'll be. If suddenly, if it was the only headlight you could hear about, it's like, fuck me, Finn Balor beats Brock Lesnar. Like, I'm like the fucking swerve that it'd be. I mean, they're not going to do it, but imagine if they did. Well, I don't know. I'm. Do you know what? Right. Oh. Call me crazy. Oh. I'm gonna pick Finn Balor. Oh, oh right. no. Okay. No, I am. Right, because and I've, I hold out for this at every oh, single pay per view that no. Finn Balor's wrestling on. Just, just shut up. It wasn't me. But I'm sorry. One of you. Jason. Um, it was fucking one nah. of you. <laughs> it was fucking one of you. Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, Paul Bader. No, like. As as we as Finn Balor is, the demon is still heavily protected, and if they yeah. want to properly build this demon as an unstoppable force, what better way to do it than to just be like, right, I'm the demon, and I beat Brock Lesnar? Yeah, dude, that would be a hell of a thing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking sick if he yeah, came fuck out. Yeah, fuck it, I'm picking Balor. All right, all right, you've sort of you sort of geared me up. I'm picking Balor too. Oh my god. Cool. And right. you know what, Murdo? You've swung me. I'm still going to say Brock Lesnar. Because he's still going to win. <laughs> I know. I get myself so excited. I, I start trying to find any reason every single time Brock Lesnar has a match. I'm like, oh, they could win via this or that. But no, it's just not going to happen, is it? Imagine imagine the disappointment. He just comes out in his leather jacket. No demon. No nothing. <laughs> just just a little man called Finn. Yeah. <laughs> just a little that, boy that could. Yeah. That looks better than all three of us if we train for the rest of our lives. Yeah, oh, undoubtedly. Well, you two made point. perfect. Does he have a podcast? podcast. Exactly. <laughs> With twelve followers <laughs> and one episode. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad for one episode, to be fair. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I'm, so, I'm gonna go Balor. Yeah, controversial, controversial uh, picture so from two myself. two Balors and a, and a Brock, a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! Yeah. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> The super late edition. <laughs> Are the 2019 Royal Rumble women's match? What do you guys think? Charlotte Flair. I I will agree. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Damn straight, she's gonna win. <laughs> she better win. Yeah. No, see, like, cause my I I didn't realize that there was a SmackDown women's match happening. Um. So that did kind of ruin my hopes for it because I was kind of hoping, and Jamie, you said this like years ago, that you had like a good idea for a rumble would be have two people start the match, and I was just thinking, yeah. have Charlotte and Lynch one and two, and have them be the last two in it. Yeah, I yeah I still say that if you really want to push not just an Iron Man or an Iron Woman, but like an actual feud, you have one and two come out. And number three comes out, and they like they maybe get a bit of offense in, hit a finisher, and the two of them that are one and two just throw them out. Number four I, comes out, throw them out. Just the I whole. Don't, I way don't mean is... necessarily like that. Like it can fill up and be a proper rumble, but just like have them start the match, yeah. and have them end the match. Um, to be fair, they've done that before. Have they? Yeah, they do with uh, Michaels and Bulldog. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they haven't done it in a while. In a while. Yeah. In a while. They've also not done winning from number one in a while. Um, I, uh, and they've obviously never done it in a women's one. I was just going to say, yeah, I don't think they'll actually do the one at number one anymore. Because as good as it looks, that would mean that they have to skirt around Benoit again. And they always, like, they get really awkward when they have to talk about it. You know, they always, like, <laughs> there's only been two wins from number one. Shawn Michaels, let's watch the match. <laughs> but for this one, it would be easy enough because they could just be like the only woman to ever have won from the number one position yeah that worked too. um so my original plan was to have lynch win it but yeah charlotte yeah. and Jamie, yeah. who, who do you think <laughs> i i mean i can sing her name again if you'd like me to <laughs> i've said charlotte already as well yeah yeah it just is gonna be charlotte and like the women's one as i say they're they're announcing it all, so it's kind of weird, but... And I've said this 
off the podcast, but they're going to have to just fill it with like NXT women or just reuse the same returns that they did last year. Maybe mm. that's why they're announcing everything, so that people aren't disappointed by the lack of surprises. Yeah, there's no one else they can really call on, is it? No, because like, th- there's only yeah. been like properly good female wrestlers in the last five years. Ouch. Fuck you, Tori Wilson. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, you've had Trish. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you've had Trish. Lita's spinning uh, in her grave, you know. Lita's not even that good. She's also not, not. dead. <laughs> Both no, those like, things are, are correct, yes. Oh. They, they Jamie, used, the facts, man. They used up facts. all the nostalgia no, ones facts, Jason, last no. year. But they've got a beefier roster, so maybe they will just... Just... Yeah, that's maybe why they're announcing it. Yeah, yeah so, Charlotte. So, so we're all saying Charlotte. So just before we jump on to the, the, the last one, do you think... Is there any women they're going to announce that are coming in that you would like to like is there any is there any like big like oh wow like um Jamie just say Rhea Ripley and get it out (laughs) I like she's so cool (laughs) just fucking get it out of the way I like Rhea Ripley what's wrong with that she's awesome (laughs) she she should have won going that way she should have won against Tony Storm I imagine they'll have uh, Tony Storm probably yeah (laughs) I saw it sounds terrible, but I'm going to say it anyway. I saw a theory that was like, oh, Tony Storm only won because her nudes got leaked and they felt sorry for her. It's like, yeah, maybe. Nah, I doubt it. She's also really good. Yeah, but she's no Rhea Ripley, so. <laughs> <laughs> Rhea so Ripley was that literally... Good, though, to be fair. She is, she is good. And she's beautiful. Oh god, that was creepy <laughs> as fuck, man. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> It's all going for me, that and my sweet, sweet style. <laughs> and the final match, or what we presume will be the final match, because we're patriarchal... Patriarchal... Fuck, I can't say it. You know, fuck off. Patriotic. Well, the... the that's no, it. that's not what he's going for. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> oh. No, Brexit the, uh, is Brexit, the women's right, one... <laughs> <laughs> the women's one went on last last year, so... Yes, it did. It feels like there's. You're right. It feels like there's a bit more riding on the men's one this yeah. year. The women's one doesn't seem like quite as big. And plus, they've not got Rousey to debut. Rousey only debuted a year ago. Bloody hell! Yeah. She's, she's so good. Like for the amount of time she's been wrestling, she's incredible. Yeah. Uh, right. Who do you guys think will win the men's Royal Rumble this year? Rollins. And Rollins. why? Why? Uh, Explain. He's just amazing, isn't he? He's just so dreamy. So handsome. He's just, he's, just, he's just so good. No, I just think he's like long overdue, something like that. There's a lot of folks saying McIntyre, but then you just got heel on heel. And like McIntyre, I did not care for McIntyre at all, but he's really grown on me in the last while. Um, so I wouldn't be against it, but I really hope it's Rollins, just because he has been the absolute best reason to watch Monday Night Raw this entire year. Oh, for a long time, yeah. Um, so yeah, Rollins deserves it. And he deserves it in his career, a Rumble win. Yeah, I agree with that. And I agree with your pick. I will pick uh, Rollins as well, because <clears throat> they basically just need someone to fill in... I don't want to say the Roman Reigns, you know, oh. shaped hole. Um, yeah. Oh. But... Uh, <laughs> You know he's 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 definitely the the pick for the. Um, he's the uh, odds-on favorite. Yeah, and he's 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 got to be like the pick for the the new babyface, the new face of of Raw. So, oh, hundred uh, percent. It just makes sense, and it like I said, it would be a nice feel-good moment. And I plus, think him... then if you were to do WrestleMania, if, you know if if Balor was to take the title, Rollins Balor. Oh man. The, the rematch at WrestleMania. Yeah, that'd be a great match. Only if we can get the same chance of this title shit again. <laughs> hey, we want some new belt. <laughs> yeah. God, wrestling Stop belts it. are just the worst. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, what say you, man? Well, I'm, I'm going to pull a, a Murdo McKinnon-esque swerve on you Ooh. boys. Oh, Christ. All right. So here comes the build-up, all right? Damn it. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Palumbo, in at 30, just walks it. No, uh, he walks in and everyone else just climbs over the ropes. Oh, too scared. 
Yeah. No, I'm going for someone that I've put literally minutes of thought into. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Okay. Okay. Big Samoa Joe. Why? You said yourself they're looking for someone to fill a Roman reign shaped hole. He's Are you Samoan. Literally going because he's a Samoan Joe. No, is that, not now. Is that what's happening here? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, no, just, no. That was that was just a bit of patter, Murdo. A little bit of wind okay. up. No, I think Samoa Joe's fucking excellent, and I think he's oh, been he's again ridiculously underutilized. And remember, remember, I think it was almost a year ago now. Uh, it was Extreme Rules. There was a fatal five way to determine who would fight Brock Lesnar, and uh, Samoa Joe won. Was that not like two years ago? Yeah, it was a while ago. But I remember I was because I've been watching a lot of like old stuff to kind of get into this, and by that I mean I've been watching a lot of reaction videos. Um, <laughs> in that, when Joe won and the camera kind of zoomed in, everyone had the same reaction. It's like, holy fuck! It's like he might be the one to beat Brock, and he yeah. nearly did. That's because I thought yeah. Samoa Joe could he would you know. He could just legitimately, he would kill a man without thinking twice about it. He's just a scary, scary individual. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I think they've they've gone pretty hard on him, and you know they've gone, you know they've done pretty good in the whole. Oh, Wendy! You know that amazing bit that I oh, yeah. just like. It. <laughs> yeah, murder. What was your representation of that? Sorry. Yeah, we. Uh, Jason, what was yours? What? Oh, that's the one. Good <laughs> stuff. No, yeah, I I just think I think doesn't I don't know if he'll be like a proper face or whatever. Or maybe he's just like a big badass, but I would love he wins, and if Brock still got the championship, just beats the living, you know, they have a really good fight, beats fuck out of him. Maybe he goes for an F5 into the cookie in a clutch, and middle of the ring at WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar tapping out. And then if he wants to go do UFC stuff, he can, or if he wants to continue... Did you just say to Brock around. Lesnar tapping out? That yeah. Never happened. I know, that I'm actually never dead. If it won't... <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, Finn Balor's going to beat him, I forgot. It happens. He, that could happen, but that would be a 1-2-3. Shut up. Just wouldn't, like... I mean, Your you saw when, when he was in... Like when he was in Hell's Gate, I think it was... Um, I can't remember what pay-per-view it was, but Undertaker stuck him in Hell's Gate, and, like, rather than tap out, he just gave him the middle finger and passed out. Yeah, and there was that great bit when uh, AJ Styles having the calf crusher, and Brock just grabbed his head and started slamming him into the ground. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, "Oh my god, please stop." Yeah. No, I mean, so, I, I wouldn't be against. Samoa no, Joe. I wouldn't. I, I think Samoa Joe is a pretty solid choice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't. Think oh no, it's no, sorry. Be... I've just sorry. Once I've totally forgotten the big show, because no one can eliminate him from the no rumble. One can oh, ever there we go. <sighs> Sorry, I fucked up my <laughs> fucked up the whole thing. Yeah. New Year, same old patter. I know. <laughs> no, I don't think there's going to be like any surprise winners. Like it'll be pretty, pretty safe choices, but the right choices. Yeah. Okay. In, like, if it was Charlotte or Rollins, like, or Joe, like, I don't know. Who do you think is going to be the the kind of this is the point that I was going to make, um, the Iron Man, of the match. Rollins. You reckon? I, yeah. I don't know. Because I, to be honest, I think it's going to be Mustafa Ali. Ah, yeah. Ah. yeah he's probably spot on with that, actually. Because he, he's just like, he just come out of nowhere, really, isn't he? Exactly. Just, yeah. They've just suddenly got a lot of faith in him, and now he's on the main roster, and I can I can really see him being in it a long time. Him or either Mysterio or Almas, because oh, they've been doing. Fun, yeah. yeah, but no, I'm I'm thinking Mustafa Ali. Yeah, that's a really decent shout, actually. Jamie, what do you think about Mustafa Ali? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, you might. Actually, yeah. <laughs> so, so fuck me for agreeing. <laughs> what's what's with you, Ash? What's everything I've said? You've been a fuck you. <laughs> so good to be back. <laughs> what about um, surprise what the... entrances, returns, mm. etc.? Um, I I don't I I can't really think of. Much I've I, I I think I have two. Okay, let Murder go first so I can slag him off though. No. Um, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll say um, Broken Matt and I don't know Lars Sullivan. Oh, Broken. Uh, yeah, I think Lars Sullivan's probably quite likely. Those are the only two I can think of just now. Yeah, I mean like I'll always want to see Kane in a Rumble, but now. You know. 
decent one. Yeah. Like, but if it was his last match, like, the Rumble was always Kane's match, so if his last match was a Rumble match, I'd be fine. It'd be a bit of a shitty way to go out, though, wouldn't it? <sighs> no Losing. Pump, no I don't know. I, I can't really think of a way that he's going to go out well now. <laughs> Would you rather him go out like he did in real life and where he gets his fucking mask taken off and he fucks himself in the middle of Saudi Arabia? Such a fucking shit show. Again, um, no. I'm just gonna, I'm saying it because you know it's true. Mm. Crown Jewel and Greatest Royal Rumble, I loved because I was pissed drunk. You were. And it was were. amazing. Do you, think, yeah. do you think Kane looked out uh, to all the... Uh, bored crowd and just thought to himself just whispered it down take a seat and just went I knew this is how my career would end yeah sad I didn't yeah, hear any sad. of what you said because I dropped my fucking controller again what? Jesus I thought, I, <laughs> Sorry. I, thought, I thought it was a bit of a nonplussed um, response to yeah. my to my <laughs> I, I got was it, do you think Kane and then it slipped up my hand I was like for fuck's sake um, what about you guys any returns um Surprise, I don't know, because I didn't really have any that I was hoping for last year either, but then I just kind of want to be surprised, because I wouldn't have guessed in a million years the Hurricane was going to come out last year, and I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I haven't really got any that I really want to see, but if they can surprise me, I'm, I'm all for it. Fully. Yes. That would be good, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. It'd be very oh, terrible. It'd be horrible. The Revival. <laughs> Mike Canellas. Sure. <laughs> is it? Go on, Jamie. Is that it? I'm out of. Uh, who else has just left? Who else asked for the release? Maria uh, Canellas as well. Maria Canellas. <laughs> and Ziggler, apparently. No, he just. He's, he didn't. Did he? Yeah. Oh. That's a shame. Supposedly. See, like, I. Oh, and uh, Ryder as well, didn't he? Oh, did he? I don't know, but I, I oh no! This, I saw this thing where people people were like, "Oh, Ryder, yeah, you get out of the WWE, you go to AEW, then you'll be a big star." It's like, no, will you fuck me? You're yeah. shite. Uh, <laughs> terrible. Just because you're friends with Cody Rhodes doesn't make you a good wrestler. No, it's like he will. He wouldn't be. Anywhere Look at the Young Bucks. But the, like, they are good though. <laughs> yeah, the Young Bucks are good. Yeah. Well, you know, there's more than fucking super kicks in a wrestling match, you know. There's more than oh, one moves. So that's Jamie's hot takes for, for the yeah. podcast. Brock's <laughs> pipe bomb. The pipe Brock. <laughs> that's Brock so bomb. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, anything else you guys want to um, add before we wrap this shambles of an episode over? Um, I, mean, I miss you so much, Charlotte. Please come back. You know, she wasn't... That's probably as good a point as any to end it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hopefully we'll get one of these uh, out before not too long. Um, yeah, fingers crossed this one actually recorded. I know. God, I will kill myself if not. <laughs> On camera. On camera. Um, well, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, and thank you guys for joining me for another exciting edition. Follow me at v one at hot uh, on Twitter. That's the one. <laughs> yes. That out of date cider is killing me. I, I, my head's sore. I'm not kidding. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye.